Hi everyone, so today we are doing a very exciting video. In this video, we are going to be doing our third TikTok video. Now, okay, I don't usually do food videos on my channel, but I am like so excited to do this one because these foods are like right up my alley. So in this video, we are going to be trying six TikTok food recipes that basically have went viral or like gotten super popular on TikTok. Now, when I say these are up my alley, I mean it. Like one of them is pancake cereal, cookie cereal. I love strawberry milk. There's like a fun strawberry milk. One thing is I'm not super into coffee and there's like a whipped coffee that's become so, so popular, but I mean like I'll try it. Obviously I'll probably like it. <laughs> but all these foods look super tasty. So I know we don't usually do food videos, but you know what? We're gonna make an exception because I wanna try these foods out and I wanna try them along with you guys so we can share in the excitement. And I'm really hungry right now, so I'm really excited. Now I will say, making six different recipes in one day is a lot, but I'm ready for it. Mama Maples is downstairs. She's gonna help me out as always, thank goodness for her. I think without further ado, let's get into this. We're gonna try some famous TikTok recipes. We'll see if the TikTokers know what they're doing in the kitchen. <laughs> we'll see. I'll be the perfect judge. But anyways, let's get started. Okay, so the first recipe that we're going to try out is Delgona coffee. Now, is that how you pronounce it? Delgona, Delgana. Basically, this is like a whipped coffee. Now, I mentioned before, I am not a coffee drinker. I don't think I've ever actually finished an entire coffee Unless we're talking ice cap from Tim Hortons, I've definitely had one of those, but I'm not a coffee drinker. But this looks so fun, I don't think it matters if you're a coffee drinker, you'll probably still think this is fun. Like I'm a consistency person, and anything like whipped cream-like, I think I'm gonna enjoy. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the Delgona coffee hashtag. So this is a popular hashtag, clearly. Like a bunch of people are trying it out. Let's see if we can find one that we should watch. Okay, I'm just gonna do one from the top. Let's try this one. So throw the glass almost off the table. Step one, don't use ground coffee. I already studied these recipes a fair bit because of course I had to do like an order online to pick up at the grocery store. So I already kind of know what's in this. Now, knowing what goes in it and actually executing it is a totally different story i actually ended up getting like an automatic whisker whisker cat whisker all right and then you basically just add it to the top add it to the top of what though is that milk and what is that was that coconut milk everybody's just like glancing over that so lightly so i feel like it's not that big of a deal what you use it could be like almond milk white milk blah 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 blah, 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 blah. you probably could do water if you wanted to i don't know if that's like a psycho thing to do and like all the coffee lovers hate me for saying that but that is the first one that we're going to do so let's go ahead downstairs and give it a try and we will see if it's worth the hype all right you guys so we are in the kitchen i got most of the stuff sitting out my mom and i measured it out so that it would be kind of easy because i know that like six recipes are going to take quite a while for us also behind the scenes i have a mic out on the counter if i was going to put it anywhere where you guys couldn't see it it wasn't going to really do its purpose of like making the audio sound good so it's out here this is the mic i use this is what records the audio for us. So it's gonna be out today. I don't love that it's out, but it just has to be, so. So I have the bowl here, and the coffee that we're going to be using is the Nes Nescaf Gold Dark Roast. Go ahead and add the instant coffee, and then I'm gonna go through and add the sugar. We have a lot more sugar measured out than the video I saw on TikTok, but we're following a YouTube video we saw. So it's basically like a half to half ratio. <laughs> okay, and then over here I have hot water, so I'm gonna add that. And like, it looked pretty soupy. So I think that's good. Okay, that's looking like the consistency of the video I saw. So now I'm going to whip it. I have an automatic whisker. Whisker, why does that sound so weird to me? I have to do it kind of on like a low setting for five minutes and then you flip it into maximum overdrive for the next little while and then it's supposed to be like big puffy mousse whipped. Okay, so the settings on here is one to five, so I'm gonna try. Ah! Ah! Oh you started it here, it's gonna fly all over. I feel like it's gonna fly all over anyway. I'm scared, my <laughs> microphone. <laughs> All 
right, you guys. So now five minutes of whipping. It looks like this. And now it's time to flip it into maximum overdrive. We have this really fun cup to make everything in. So I'm going to do iced coffee, I think. Is this gonna make me a coffee addict? The big deal, guys. And I'm going to drop, oh my gosh. That looks so good. Oh my goodness, I filled it right to the brim. Oh my gosh. Like right to the brim. Literally, so, wow. So I'm going to mix it a little. Not too much though, because I like the way it looks. So I'm going to invite my mom in here because she is a coffee lover. Oh yeah. Mini. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Come on in. Oh, that looks, that looks so nice. Doesn't it look good? It does. You know, you could probably put a little chocolate syrup in there and make it like a mocha too. Yeah, that is oh, yeah. so cute. And like, there's still so much left. Like we could definitely oh, yeah. make another one. Okay, so. Give it a try. Okay. Oh my word, is that good? is delicious. Should I try it? You should. <laughs> Don't do that. I'm sorry. Well, I guess I'm gonna get stuck having it. Oh, wow. Okay, so the next recipe that we're going to try is called pancake cereal. Now, I'm so excited to try this one because I love pancakes, I love syrup, and I love butter. Me and butter have a very, very tight relationship. I absolutely love butter, which is actually pretty bad for my health, but I do. So on the pancake cereal thread, they basically just show how to make it. Um, you just squish out all these perfect little circles and that's gonna be so difficult. Like that's the thing with always like, this is so satisfying to watch, but once I actually have to try and do this, I can just imagine flipping these pancakes, flipping them into each other and onto each other. It's just like, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a mess. Like how do they flip those? And they never show it. Like there's never a TikTok. Oh. Oh, they just pushed them around like that. Pretty straightforward, I think. I think we should be able to do this. I think the only difficulty we'll run into is flipping everything within the pan because already like a big pancake, I struggle to flip it and not flip it onto like the side of the pan. So let alone when I have like 50 little ones to like individually flip. And I just know that I'm gonna try and be being a perfectionist for it, but I'm just gonna throw that out the window right now. I will never be perfect. I will never make a perfect pancake. Now that our expectations are extremely low, let's try it. Okay, as you can see, I've got a lot of stuff around me. I also will be looking just a little bit past the camera because we have the recipe written out so that I don't mess it up. But I have everything around, big bowl. So first we're going to make the pancake mix. And in the TikTok video I watched originally, which you guys just saw, they just used a pancake mix, which is fine, but I'm just going to be making it from scratch from a YouTube video that we saw. So first things first, an egg. <laughs> and whisk. Three tablespoons of raw sugar. Add that in, having fun. Okay, now three fourths cup of milk. Spill it all over your hands, yeah. One cup of flour. Oops, I forgot this one. Mm. Okay, so now I have this little squeeze bottle and I feel like this will be the best way to get like perfect circles. So I'm just going to pour this, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, oh my gosh. <gasps> Oh gosh, I can feel my mom looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, cut it off. Direct your eyes over to this pan back here. To turn on the pan to medium. Now we're gonna butter the pan, like a lot apparently, like a ton. Okay, so now I have to work from like in that same direction i think difficult because these guys right here are freaking out but i gotta get this one i feel like an alien with giant hands <laughs> oh my gosh i gotta move quick like literally they're starting to burn push them all over the pan oh my gosh it's getting smoky in here i'm just gonna add the second group which i feel like i did a better job at not burning i'm gonna drop on a humongous glob of butter just because. Mix it up. I think they look just like the TikToks I've been seeing, so let's see how it tastes. I have a good feeling about it. 
It tastes like pancakes, but in little chewable form. Oh my gosh, it's like so good. Something about a little pancake really does make it taste better. What are you looking at? I need a bite. Like, you better hurry. It is so cute. Thank you. You did really good with this one. Mmm. That is good pancake mix. And like, look how much I used. Like, none of wow. this. Wow. They are so much better bite size. Okay, so now straying from the sweet, we're gonna get into the savory. This was one recipe that was not like the others. Like I was not expecting an egg sandwich to get popular. So I'm very curious to see this one. Let's go ahead and watch one of the TikToks just to see, basically butter the pan, put some egg, make like a French toast style. Looks pretty good. Okay, wait, what? Flip it. Oh my gosh. This is like I'm watching it for the first time all over again because this looks amazing. And like, this is kind of what I'm feeling like. Like usually I'm in a sweet mood, but like I'm kind of in a savory mood and this looks so good. This is gonna be so good and I can't wait. <laughs> I'm gonna be so full at the end of this. First things first, I'm gonna crack two eggs. I'm gonna call my mom in here just because uh, I have the memory of a peanut and I might forget <laughs> how to do this. So I need her on standby the whole time. Oh, there's a shell in here. Why would you say that so. when the camera's rolling? <laughs> I have my mom here behind me because you needed help. <laughs> now we're going to pour the egg. Now this is when it gets a little bit confusing. So just try and pay attention or watch a better video. Hello, are you ready? Big pour. Oh lordy, there was no noise. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Oh yeah. Okay. It's gonna be great. <laughs> you did it! Oh my goodness, that was awesome. That's good, Mia. Okay, and then more cheese. More cheese. When in doubt, add more cheese. Wow, what? that's the thickest loaf. Whoa. Whoa! That looks nice! Yeah, wow, this is gonna be a really good sandwich. It totally is. Oh my gosh, the cheese is actually dripping out. I repeat, the cheese is actually dripping out. Oh Doink. yeah. Doink. really good mm. oh it is delicious so far you're like three for three this is insane all right straying back to the cereal we did pancake cereal now we're going to do cookie cereal now this is uh i think going to be i mean it's cookies and cereal it's gonna be amazing so let's see so this person just grabbed cookie dough. I think that's pretty smart. I don't know if I'm gonna be making my own cookie dough or if I'm just gonna use some store-bought stuff, but you just have to roll it up into little cookie pieces. Ooh, this was a good idea. They used like a silicone tray. That's nice. I don't have those, but that's a good idea. Put them in the bowl, add some milk, and then you eat it up. Now, I was that as a kid, okay? like. I would fully fill a bowl of Oreos, add milk, and eat it. Like, this is no new thing to me, but I love their rendition of it, doing like little chocolate chip cookies. It's probably a lot healthier than doing like full Oreos, like a full bowl of Oreos. Doing miniature ones is probably smarter. Um, and it probably looks a lot better. So I think without further ado, we will try this one. I gotta admit, this might be the one I'm most excited for. I love chocolate chip cookies. This is kind of what inspired this video, so let's get into it. All right, you guys, so cookie cereal. We're just doing cookie dough. <laughs> Taking so, the easy way. Yeah, so we're just gonna basically make them into little, little cookies and put them on this here pan in front of us. Whoa. Oh, it's busting out. <laughs> oh my what? gosh, oh my gosh, it's <laughs> busting out. <laughs> Cookie dough. I feel like this. Okay, they have to be really small. Yeah, I like think. super small, like like this. Now that we have all the cookies, oh my god, I almost just pushed them off the tray. 
I'm just going to put it in the oven. I have it for 335 and honestly, we're just going to keep checking on it because I have no idea how long they're going to take. Let me see. They look great. I'm going to pull them out. <laughs> put some cookies in there. Look at these cookies. That's a good breakfast. Oh, I yes. A champion. This will top off everything I've eaten. <laughs> Let's go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. You want some cereal, Kate? <coughs> I want to try it. I, <laughs> I mean, how can you go it's wrong? It's a hit. Okay, and then we have mac and cheese in a mug. And I kind of think I already saw this on Tasty because they had the three minute, three hour, uh, 30 minute mac and cheese video. And I was watching it and I was like really itching to have some macaroni. So this couldn't come at like a better time. Basically, in every single one of these, I've just said like I'm really feeling like this. So clearly I'm just into all of it. Okay, so you add the noodles, the water, you microwave it, a little bit of salt, and the microwaving just basically cooks it up, milk, cheese, stir it up, melt it again, and there you go. You got mac and cheese in a mug. Honestly, when you think about it, it makes a lot of sense that this is able to be done. I don't know why I've never made mac and cheese in a mug, but we're going to today. All right, you guys macaroni mug i've got a little bit more room in my stomach for some food this one's really easy so you take your macaroni noodles put it in the mug and then you're going to take some water and this is basically supposed to be the same as boiling it we're going to put it in my microwave yeah this isn't a calendar it's a microwave all right let's see ow oh my gosh the mug is really hot. Oh my, the water boiled out of my mug. And oh, nobody said this would happen. And the noodles aren't really cooked. Well, but they need two more minutes again. I know, but like, all the water's gone. Wow. Is that what's supposed to happen? I don't think so. Wouldn't they have yeah, said, by the way, it will wreck your microwave? Mom. <laughs> what in the world? What happened? It lit on fire are you kidding okay you guys we're gonna try that again because it lit on fire for reasons obviously because <laughs> the water spilled out i'm gonna try a minute and a half this time <laughs> all right let's see this baby looking pretty good so now we're going to add one fourth cup of milk and half cup of cheese back into the microwave okay all right, let's see. Let's mix it up. Oh my goodness, the milk is very much still present. I don't know why this was working so amazingly for everyone else. <laughs> I'm gonna put it in for one more minute just to hopefully get rid of some of this liquidiness. Oh yeah! That looks really that is good. That really nice. Okay, so it just took an extra few minutes and a little bit of trial and error. Yeah. I'd say use a big mug so that it won't spill out over the top. Don't burn yourself. <gasps> Is it hot? <laughs> oh god. It's okay. actually really good. It's good. Mmm. I think that this was a success. It was a little bit longer of a journey than I anticipated, but it turned out and like, it's really, really good. I mean, can you really do macaroni wrong? Like it's always good. Okay, and the last TikTok recipe we are going to be making is strawberry milk. And this isn't just normal strawberry milk because I am a lover of strawberry milk. If there was ever the choice of chocolate mix syrup versus strawberry, I'm going for the strawberry 100% of the time. But if it's store-bought, then I'm going for chocolate. Like it's like, if it's like the next quick mix, it's gotta be strawberry. I used to like literally sit down at my computer and drink like a huge cup of strawberry milk like every single day. I haven't in a really long time because I figured out that I'm like basically lactose intolerant. So, <laughs> but this recipe is kind of different. It gives me like a uh, pink drink vibe. So let's just watch one of these. You got the strawberries, you cut them up, you boil it, mash it, stick it in the <laughs> stew. <laughs> Add the milk or whatever you want, almond milk, anything, any liquid, and there you go. Now this is like true honest strawberry milk. Like I don't know what was in the syrup I used to add to my milk. Probably not real strawberries though, so this will be like real strawberries. So let's give it a go and see how this last one turns out. I have everything I need right here. I Thing. All right, so, okay, so I'm gonna take the pot and I'm just gonna add one cup of chopped strawberries. <laughs> They're flying all over. <laughs> oh. 
And then we're gonna add powdered sugar. <laughs> Why is it? Honey. And then we're going to just mix that all together. And just basically keep doing this till it's all combined together. And now I'm going to put it on the stove top until it boils. Add them to the cup. Scrumptious. And now I saw a few videos of people getting chunks in their straws, so I'm going to try this little thing, which might go really bad. Oh yeah, it's, oh, just to try and break it up a little bit in here. Beautiful. Now nothing will get stuck in my straw. <laughs> now let's add the milk. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so good, I can't. Wow, this is amazing. Okay, let's see how it tastes. It's kind of like a mix of like cold and hot, which is a little bit strange, but. I need ice. <laughs> oh my, yeah. I've just it, never been a fan of like warm milk or anything like bad. that. It is a lot of work though. That's like all of these is just like, Clearly, lots of time went into it, which I'm all for, but you don't always have time, you know? It's good, but I don't really like it. What? Like, I get it, but I personally, like, just my, like, taste buds. Am I gonna have to drink it all because <laughs> you don't like it? Can I try something? Does that made any difference. Ooh, it looks good again. I like the color. Oh my, try that one. Oh yeah, it was just because it was warm. It's like a strawberry Julius now. <laughs> I just didn't like it warm. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. We are done making all six of these TikTok recipes. I don't know what I expected, but I thought that at least a few would flop, but I actually am like a big fan of all of them. The strawberry milk was close, but when my mom put it in the magic bullet, I was there for it. I just needed it cool down, okay? I just needed it cool down. I swear it's probably like 20 degrees in my house right now. It is so hot and we were running the stove, the oven, the microwave, all of it. No windows could be open because we didn't want there to be like any wind or any air coming in for the audio. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a ton of fun to try these out. If there are any other recipes that you wanna see us try or anything else on TikTok or whatever you guys wanna see, make sure to let us know down below. And also, make sure to let us know which recipe from this video was your all-time favorite and if you've tried any of them. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.